How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. It's Teddy here from Team TJ and welcome to... <laughs> yes. Welcome to Roblox. Wait, don't close out the video yet. Let me explain. So, on Roblox... Let me turn that down a little bit. The Roblox community has created... So some individuals in the Roblox community have created an amazing Pokemon-based game called Pokemon Brick Bronze. And I decided to start a Let's Play on Pokemon Brick Bronze because why the heck not? I think it's going to be amazing. Hope you guys enjoy. It's basically, like, this game is so cool. It's got, like, I think it's got almost all 805 Pokemon in this game. I'm pretty darn sure. Anyway, but we're going to get started. Alright, we're beginning. And I can tell that the world is loading in. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Some Roblox games, just the graphics of some Roblox games are just incredible. It's just incredible, the graphics of some Roblox games. It's so cool. Uh -huh. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh my god! I felt like that this uh, this morning. Oh boy, because um, actually um, I actually because uploading my videos uses so much of my of the internet that uh, the house I uh, that this house uses, as in it uses up so much of our bandwidth. Yeah, that's what we that's what it's apparently called. And um that I actually have to upload my videos at a time when no one else is using the internet because it makes the rest of the internet completely useless. So I actually have to get up at twelve thirty to upload every single one of my videos. So yeah, I felt like that this morning. <laughs> when I uploaded Minecraft Survival Episode 3. Oh wait. We got a story going. I can't believe today has finally come! Today I get my first Pokemon from the Pokemon Professor. Yes! I've always wanted this. I have always dreamed of setting out on my own adventure with Pokemon on by my side. There are so many Pokemon in this world, I hope to discover them all one day. Well, I better get going. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to fill out my trainer card. All right, Titan eight two six done. Titan eight two six. Did I write that correctly? Hmm. T i t a n eight two six. Yes, you did. Awesome. I'm that much closer to officially becoming a Pokemon trainer. Oh, okay. Attention, new trainers. Some notes from the developers of Pokemon Brick Bronze. You will only be able to trade and battle with other players after you receive the first gym badge. Okay, sounds reasonable. Your progress is not saved automatically. You must either manually save from the menu or enable autosave from the options menu. Alright, got it. Pokemon Brick Bronze is still in development. There will be bugs here and there, but we're always working to fix them. Hope... No, help. Sorry. Help us out by sending a message to Tabrim or Lando64000 with details if you find one. If you have any questions about Pokemon Brick Bronze, you can post them on the wall of the official group. Thanks for playing. Alright, saving. Save successful. Alright. Sweet. Oh, let's oh, let the chat work out. Okay, ooh, an Eevee. That's cool. 
Nevi poster. All right, let's get out here. Hey, Tiny Two Six, it's me, Jake. Hello. Ah, I can't believe we're getting our first Pokemon today. Wait, hold on. Why is it night? It's night time, and okay, I am actually. This is me in real life, waking up in the middle of the night. I can't believe we're going. We're getting our first Pokemon today. I cannot speak. This is the day we've dreamed of since we were kids. I don't even know you, okay? Let's start there. I have no idea who you are. I'm on my way to the lab to get mine right now. Oh yeah, your parents wanted to see you before you went to the lab. I saw them pass by uh, my house earlier, heading towards the digging site. Hurry and go talk to them. I'll be waiting for you at the lab. Alright. Bye. Alright, and it's cool how we've got the new animations in this game as well. So, I'm guessing this is the dig site, and those must be my parents. Okay. Well, that ought to take care of it. We... Eh, we have to keep this a secret for everyone's safety. You're right. It's too dangerous for anyone to go down there. I I'm... Let me know if I do a good female voice. I, I kind of think I do. I don't think we should tell anybody about this. Maybe we can tell that new professor. Maybe, maybe you're right. Oh, Titan 26 You startled me. A chip! Today is the day you get your first Pokemon! Uh, we are so happy for you, sweetie. Uh, sorry, we didn't meet you at home. We just discovered something in the cave last night. As archaeologists, your mother and I are very uh, thorough, uh, uh, thorough with our work. That's right. Not enough talking. Well, I mean, no. But enough talking. Let's head down to the professor's lab and let you pick your very first Pokemon. We'll see you there. Um. Bye. All right, better head over to the lab. Time to get a Pokemon. I already think I know what starter I'm going to pick because I do know that you can actually get like all 21 starters in this. And I already think I know which one I'm going to pick. My favorite starter Pokemon of all time. And I'll leave it a surprise. Alright. Okay, so there's my parents. There's Jake. And that's the Pokemon Professor. Hello! My name is Professor Capris. I am the new professor in Mistown. I think that's how I pronounce it. I'll bet you're Titan 26. Your parents are just telling me about you. You must be very excited to be getting your first Pokemon today. There are a few things you must know about Pokemon first. Pokemon are our friends, and we grow alongside them. They grow and, uh, and in some cases, evolve and change form as we battle with them. Our Pokemon will grow, uh, well, your Pokemon will grow to love you as you adventure with them. Mm, oh, that is cool. I never knew that before. Yeah, Jake, you're an idiot. Uh, yes, and uh, there will be many things that we do not know. Uh, oh, yes, and there are still many things we do not know about Pokemon. Titan 86, I want uh, you now to pick a Pokemon that you would like to uh, occupy you on your adventures. Make a choice from these 21 different breeds. Go ahead now. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so we got the Gen 1 starters. Let's see. Bulbasaur. Cute, but I don't like Venusaur. Like, I know it's strong, but kind of gets... Venusaur is kind of ugly. Charmander. Charizard's powerful. Not my favorite yet. Squirtle. Blastoise is powerful. It's still not my favorite. Hmm. You kind of look a little derpy, but I do know that you kind of grow into something kind of cute and beautiful. You're kind of cute, but your evolutions aren't. And every evolution of you is just weird. 
I hate Trico. Uh, and all of its evolutions. I, I really hate this Pokemon. Oh, really, really badly. Torchic. I like Blaziken, but it's still not my favorite. Mudkip. Yes, I like the Mudkips. Kind of a, kind of a silly meme in a way. Uh, and, uh... I don't remember the names of these two, but you're cute and semi-powerful, but still not my favorite. Do not like you. Piplup, cute. Evolutions, not so much. Snivy, I really like Snivy, but still not my favorite quite yet. Tepig. Cute, but his evolutions, no. Oshawott, useless. Chespin, cute. Evolutions, Meh. Fennekin. Hmm. Fennekin. Froki. Nah. Wasn't a huge fan of Greninja. And, uh, whatever you guys are called. I know that you're called Poplio, but I don't know you two quite yet. I think you're Rowlet. I think this one's Rowlet, and I think this one is... I, I literally cannot remember, <laughs> but um, Fennekin is my favorite starter Pokemon of all time. So you would like to choose Fennekin, the Fire-type Pokemon? Yes! Excellent choice, Titan 26 Your new Pokemon is so cute. That Pokemon definitely has potential in battle. I hope our Pokemon become best friends like we are. Alright, Titan 26 many challenges await you. Let me give you one other gift that will help you along your journey. It's a Pokédex. It's like an electronic encyclopedia that records the kinds of Pokémon you encounter and capture. It will also help me in my research with Pokémon. Also, if you'd like, you can come back at any time and purchase other Pokémon from my assistant, David. I'm guessing this is David. Now, what... Uh, are you waiting for? Go and explore the world of Pokemon! Yes, Titan uh, Yes, Titan 86. Go ahead and have fun with your Pokemon. We need to stay behind and talk to the professor for a minute. We'll meet up with you later. Alright, so I'm guessing this Braz, uh, this dude's David. So I think with Robux you can actually get the rest of the starters. So, I might do that with Snivy, my second favorite starter. Alright, let's go! Hey, Titan 26 wait up, wait. Jake, we have Pokemon now. Let's battle! Oh, yes, the first battle of the series. How did you get an Eevee? How the heck did you get an Eevee? I didn't see Eevee as a choice, did you? Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, so we got Scratch, Ember, and Tail Whip. Ember. Alright. And, oh my, a critical hit. Yeah, we're already dead. We're already dead. Defense fell. Okay. This might actually go well. If we just keep using Ember, and as long as it doesn't attack. Yeah, it just keeps using Tail Whip over and over. We're good. We're gonna win. We're good. And, yes! First battle of the series, and we won. Yes! Alright. Level 6 Fennekin now. Amazing, says Jake. Oh, and we got some Poke Dollars for that. Nice fighting. Here, let me heal your Pokemon. Oh, thanks, brah. Dino 6, that was an excellent battle. Your father and I watched you while we were discussing things with the professor. We are very proud of you in taking... Well, we are... Oh, that's the father. We are uh, very proud of you in taking this step to become a Pokemon trainer. We want you to, uh, we want you uh, n uh, to know uh, that we will be supporting you as you explore Roria. Oh, that's the name of the region we're in. Okay, Roria. 
we you need to be very careful as you are do it, uh, going to be out on your own for the first time. Don't forget to floss. Tiny Six, we want to give you something to take with you as a gift to celebrate this mon monumentous occasion. Bronze brick uh, obtained. Bronze brick. Pokemon brick bronze. Now I see what you did there. Tiny Tiny Six put the brick bronze in the bag. I made you a necklace just this morning. When you look at it, remember your family who loves you. Don't forget to keep it safe. We're heading back to the house. If you need anything, that's where we'll, you can find us. Alright, bye! Wow, that's really cool of your parents. Oh, by the way, I have something for you. Uh, they're for catching wild Pokemon. Ah ha 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 ha! Pokeballs! Necess uh, necessary for capturing new Pokemon. Alright. It works best if you weaken the Pokemon before throwing the Pokeball. Yeah, I already know. Okay. Well... I need to gather a few things before I set off on my adventure. You should start training your Pokemon on Route 1. Past Route 1 is Chesma Town. Uh, these name, the names of the towns, I'll get them wrong so often. Don't expect me to ever get one of these towns' names right. They all seem complicated. That'll be a good place for us to meet up. All right. I'll see you later. Alright, bye, buddy. Okay. Ooh, Darkrai. I wonder if we can catch him. That would be cool. Alright, so we're gonna save. There we go. As well as now, we actually have um, Fennekin in as our first Pokemon. Yeah, I... Yeah, Fennekin is my favorite starter Pokemon. Alright. Its nature is careful. Alright, that doesn't seem too bad. Ability Blaze. Yeah, this this isn't a bad Fennekin, I, I don't think. And my Pokedex. So much left to put in there. Just, just Fennekin. Alright, let's actually read Fennekin's entry. Fennekin, the fox Pokemon. Uh, eating a twig fills it with energy, and its roomly, e uh, roomly ears, I mean roomy ears, give vent to air hotter. Well, give vent to air hotter than 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. That's cool. Alright, so... Let's head on our journey. Let us go. Oh, good luck on your adventures out there. If your Pokemon ever need a quick healing, come talk to me. Can I trust you? Can I trust you, Brad? I'm not sure. Alright, let's head through... Oh! First encounter. Pidgey. Hmm. Should I catch Pidgey? I'm not 100% sure if I should catch Pidgey. I might. Let's use Scratch, something that's not going to really hurt it too badly. Alright. One more Scratch should do it. Don't kill it. Or knock it out, at least. Okay. Okay, let's just throw it a Pokeball. Alright. And... Yes! Alright. Our second Pokemon. Okay, give a nickname to the Pidgey you caught. Not quite yet. Actually, you let me know if you have any ideas for nicknames, actually, because I'll probably mess that up badly. Okay. Yeah, I guess he is useful. He can heal my Pokemon. Nice. 
All right, now we got a Pidgey. Nature, quiet, ability, keen eye. Just knows tackle. Now we're gonna need to train this thing. All right. All right, well, thanks for healing my Pokemon. I guess you are trustworthy. All right. Let's head back. Oh! All right, trainers. Bugs are the most interesting Pokemon. Are you sure about that, buddy? Okay, bug catcher Ralph sent out a worm pull. I mean, a worm pill. Worm pile? I don't know. Ember. Instant kill! Alright. No, don't send out another Pokemon. Alright. And goodbye. That, that was easy. Okay. okay, maybe my bugs aren't the best Pokemon for battling. You think? Okay. Another trainer. I met my Pokemon on this route. Alright. Camper Jack. A Zigzagoon. Rest in peace. Oh, it didn't actually knock it out. Alright. I actually probably will catch a Zigzagoon, you know, for my HM slave. I need an HM slave after all. I just love Pokemon, they're so cute. Let's see how cute the Pokemon you have are. Bunnelby is... it's okay cute. You're not gonna like it when it evolves though. And goodbye. Okay, it's Pidgey. I guess Pidgey is kinda cute in a way. Okay. Alright, Tackle. I guess all Pidgeys just no Tackle. I can probably knock this thing out with Scratch. Yeah. Alright. Nice. I need to train my Pokemon more. Good strategy. Okay, actually, let's get this. Oop! A random encounter. Bunnelby. Should we catch Bun uh, Bunnelby? This is... No, I think I'll knock it out. But this is a great opportunity to train Pidgey. Alright. And this is a great opportunity to level up Pidgey a bit. Hopefully. And... done. Goodbye. Alright, let's grab whatever this is. A, a potion! Nice. Alright. Oh. Okay. Another Pidgey. Uh, just use Ember. I was kind of thinking about training my Pidgey by fighting this Pidgey, but that might have been a mistake. I mean, it's not that strong. All it knows is tackle, and it's like level four. All right, level nine. Sweet. All right, so this is must be the entrance to the next place. Tie that to a sense. What? I got here as fast as I could. Something terrible has happened. You need to come back to town. Uh, 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 come back to town with me. I don't have time to explain. Let's go. Okay. 
Tiny Two Six. I'm so glad to see you are safe. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, Tiny Two Six, but your parents have been abducted from their home in a, the short time you've been gone. What? How? Not much is known yet, but it is suspected that they were taken by a group of people known as Team Rocket- no, Eclipse. You see, Team Eclipse has, is an organization of people who have a unique perspective on people and Pokemon. They believe that people and Pokemon are not at harmony with one another, and they have interesting ideas for how to solve this problem. They are also dangerous and not to be f trifled with. They seem to do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. I do not know what they want with your parent, uh, with your parents, but I suspect it has something to do with their skills as archaeologists. Your parents are familiar with Pokémon uh, 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 of legend in Roria. Whatever Team Eclipse is after, I'm sure they are go uh, uh, getting very close to achieving it. Now tell me, Titan Age 6, did your parents say anything about their work when you saw them this morning? Why the heck should I tell you? Oh, so your parents gave you that necklace earlier. Why did I show him the necklace? It... that's interesting. Anyways, it's not safe. For you here now. Tiny H6, I think the time. Uh, for the time being, it's best for you to leave town. At least until we figure out what's happened here. Chasma Town is a good place to start. It's just past Route 1. Be careful now, Tiny H6, and don't go looking for trouble. And the music just cuts back to the happiness again. Okay! So, I have Fennekin and a Pidgey. I don't. And. I have three. No, four Pokeballs. The Bronze Brick and a Potion. Nothing else. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, and my parents are now abducted by a group known as Team Eclipse. It would. Apparently, want to take over this world. Yeah, sounds like an interesting start to a series, guys. And wait, th that guy's naked. That guy's naked. Anyways, so guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And please do leave a big fat thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TJ today for an awesome gameplay videos and other amazing content like this. And let me know if you want to see more Pokemon Brick Bronze on Roblox. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more. Yeah. That's it for today, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Tiny26, out. Goodbye, guys!